Away for Red Star. Alright, so here's how things are going to work here. Um, last section, episode, segment, table thing. Um, <clears throat> a hungry Luma appeared over by the dome, and I have already fed it and failed at this level numerous times. I usually can't even get past the very beginning of it. And it's getting me really frustrated, even though it's not that hard. Um, I guess I'm just used to the game being easy so far. And so, like... Come on, just get in the freaking star. Yeah, like, I just can't play the game at all. I'm terrible at it. I've always been terrible at it. And I hate this level. I didn't think I was going to, but... Eh. That's what happened. So I'm gonna give it one, maybe two tries, and then I'm just gonna move on if I can't beat it, because... I'm getting really tired of this. This beginning part is not hard, but I keep messing it up anyway. Like, I can make, I can make that, and then... This part... You have to go back the way you came. Ugh. Don't want to talk to you. Um, yeah, you can't really touch walls or else you'll bounce into the coins. It's somewhat annoying. But it's easier to go this way than to go the other way. The other way probably isn't even possible. So, anyway, this race... Um, just the race on its own, or just avoiding coins on its own, probably wouldn't be that bad. But doing them both together is somewhat terrible because there's not really any quick way to avoid some of these and like a lot of these at the beginning are, are not really in your way but they'll get to be eventually so you'll want to use these fans to speed you up but some of them blow you into coins too so yeah kind of sucks I've gotten pretty close to the end but I, I didn't I wasn't able to finish it because of coins getting totally in the way. And then the big boo shows up and everything is sad. Come on. Now, I don't know, like, if there's even an easy way to pass him at this point. It's like, there's alternate paths, but they all look slower than this. I know this has got to be possible. It's not that bad, but... I'm just not having a lovely time with it. Ugh, yeah, that coin gets in the way. This one severely gets in the way. Is this one even passable? It doesn't look like it. It's gotta be, though. I've never heard anybody say that this level is impossible. I'll have to investigate that off-screen. Because it looks passable, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I really don't want to try it again. I'm getting, like, overly upset over it. It's not that terrible for me to stress out over this one level, but I am anyway. Plus, there's a fly in here, and the wind keeps blowing the coat into the door, and I keep thinking it's someone knocking. But anyway, uh, I haven't gotten the other letter from Luigi yet. I don't know if I've mentioned that in this attempt, because this is, like, my fourth time recording this. So, oh, come on, you can't just fly. What the hell? That was so dumb. So, yeah, I've wasted four minutes of your life, and now just moving on into here. Uh, I will open a random one and do that. And I happened to open the lowest number. I had my eyes closed. Wasn't planning it. So I'll do as much as I can in this level and then do another random one, I guess. This level's... Well, it's another freaking water level, but... Loading time. At least it has a few interesting parts. I kind of like the beginning. Not sure why. I just do. And there's a ton of star bits you can get here if you uh, 
find all the money bag enemies and spin inside the shell circles and all that junk. I'll get some of them, I suppose. Because I just had to spend 1200 on that stupid boost bone yard level that I didn't even want to do. But, I mean, it's got to be done eventually. I guess if you know how to do it coinless, if there's, like, some specific trick, you can tell me. But, like, seriously, just please check the comments first. I requested this before, and people still didn't do it. It's really not that difficult to just check the other comments before you say something. So yeah, like I said, lots of star bits in this level. Somewhat fun. I think I still missed one of those enemies somehow. But I don't see it, so I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, there's no, there's like a secret at the beginning here. I'll have to show that. Uh, I'll do it for the next star. Not sure if it's there for all the stars or like only some of them. It's probably there for all of them. Okay, you die because you are annoying. Now let's see how. Er, no, I'm supposed to go underwater anyway. I think. I kind of like to attempt to sequence break in that area. I don't know if it's really considered a sequence break though, because it's not really that difficult to do. Come on, don't make me waste all my air. Uh, I think I'm supposed to be going this way. I don't actually know for sure. I mean, there was a big arrow pointing here. Is there a switch up here? Camera. Camera. Bueller. Come on. Camera! Show me! Okay, there it is. There was a suspicious ledge. I figured the switch was there. Okay, so... This place is, uh... less annoying than when you have to do the purple coin challenge, so... I will appreciate it for the moment. Although we do have weird, uh, green lipstick... No? no? Is it? Yeah, green lipstick. Magic over here, so... It's kind of an interesting fight, I guess. I think there was already one like this. My memory is so poor that I don't actually remember. This one is slightly harder, though. Probably just because of the terrain when you fight up in a smaller area. Don't have much to say about this one. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to do this fight again. Probably like immediately after this, knowing this game. It's like, yeah, we can make you refight a boss that you just fought, but we're not gonna give you that other Luigi letter until at least six weeks have passed. I don't know. Maybe I just have to accept the 20 one-ups. If I don't get it soon, I'll just do that. That's probably it. Gotta love when there's unknown triggers. Like, uh, we were playing Spyro the Dragon, the first one, and the entrance to Toasty wouldn't open. And we're like, well, we got every single thing in all the other levels in this area. What more do you want from us? But apparently we never actually left a level using the exit warp. We just sort of, like, paused and said exit level, and you can't do that. The game doesn't really tell you this, though. It kind of does, but not specifically. So now that I have this star, am I going to be able to shoot fireballs and spawn magic Koopas? Because that would be kind of cool. Sadly, I don't think that's going to happen. 
What did I name that thing again? I can't remember. And then the TV breaks in half. No. I heard like this cracking noise. No, no comment. What do you know? Okay, so. Uh, actually, I'll show off the secret area in the next segment, I think, because I don't want to run out of time on this one. Maybe my disc is getting scratched, because things are kind of taking a long time to... Oh, hey, look, it's another freaking mole. I haven't had fought 45 of those yet. What's with this game's mobile obsession, seriously? Okay, so... That was fun. Let's do it two more times. That sure is a popular song. Who wants to hear of it 50 times more? Oh, oh come on. Oh, am I supposed to hit it with coconuts? Well, if I am, I certainly won't be able to. Because you forget, I suck at this game. Okay, there we go. Turns out I didn't even have to do that. You can just triple jump over the wall or something. Actually, you probably can. Uh, yeah. Let's not bother killing all the enemies this time, because as much as I'd like to, like I said, I kind of want to, like... Oh. Okay, we'll have to wait until the star runs out anyway, so I just won't. Yeah, there's the thing up there. It's not really much of a secret, because it's kind of easy to find, but there's, like, a mini version of that starting planet, and you can shoot to it if you, like, shoot through the tree or something. It's kind of cool. Did I say that I liked this beginning? I don't take that statement back, but I question why I do, because this is somewhat annoying to do every time you want to, like, proceed through the level. Consequences to actions! Eh, probably could have done that without the Ice Flower, because of the aforementioned sequence breaking. Or, it's not... I don't know what you'd call it. It's, wow, that's some really bad texturing on the walls. You can, like, see the pixels pretty clearly. But, uh... Yeah, if you, like, jump out of the water just the right way and spin and wall jump and all that fun stuff, you can, uh, get up here without the ice flower. I've, I've done it before. I... what the hell is this? I do not remember this platform. At all. And there's, like, a bonus pipe area thing Jones around here somewhere, but, eh. little flame floods down there, what would you call those? I was very scared I was going to grab that coin. And our goal here is to not get killed by the fish, first of all, but uh, stomp in these things, maybe? Oh my god, I'm going to die from freaking flopping fish. That is very sad. No, no coins. Okay, there we go. I know you can kill these things, they're just kind of not dying. Come on, get in the bubble before I die from fish. Did it, did it. And our goal here is to hit the watermelon with enough tennis balls to make it grow huge and explode. Because, well, obviously. And there are many lasers to avoid. So let's... Uh, you would do that. Kinda running low on time. Let's, uh... Maybe make this level agree with me. Uh, there we go. Fun times. 
Oh god, that thing is right above a coin. Please don't be a dick, game. Please don't be a dick. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. Yeah, as I've... Yep, there we go. Uh, as I've mentioned before, if you get, uh... 9,999 star bits, all the coconuts in the game turn into watermelons. This is completely pointless. Okay, so that l l didn't go quite as frustrating as I thought it would. So see you next time for more, uh... Pornography.